Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is Tuesday, July 2nd, 2019. Looking at our solar wind speeds, we're sitting at a 309 kilometers per second with a density of 3.3. Our sun is blank again. This will be four days in a row now without sunspots. A total of 113 days in 2019 so far. Looking at our KP indices, they're at a one, and our 24 hour max is at a two. And looking at the SDO in motion, we do have a large earth facing coronal hole facing right now. We do expect solar wind from this coronal hole on July 5th. This could be strong enough to produce G1 geomagnetic storms. And from spaceweather.com, a sunspot from the next solar cycle. Solar minimum won't last forever. In fact, the next solar cycle made a brief appearance this week. On July 1st, a small sunspot materialized in the sun's southern hemisphere, then hours later, it vanished again. The polarity of the magnetic field marks it as a likely member of Solar Cycle 25. Southern sunspots from old Solar Cycle 24 have a negative positive polarity. This ephemeral sunspot was opposite of positive negative. According to Hale's law, sunspots switch polarities from one solar cycle to the next. The unnumbered sunspot appears to be herald of Solar Cycle 25. Solar cycles always mix together at their boundaries. Indeed, ephemeral sunspots belong to Solar Cycle 25 have already been reported on December 20th of 2016, April 8th of 2018, November 17th of 2018, and May 28th of 2019. Now we can add July 1st, 2019 to the list. The transition between Solar Cycle 24 and 25 appears to be underway. And now here's Mari. Thank you, Jake. Today I'm going over some quick news headlines. There's so much going on worldwide, it's hard to keep up. Exceptionally heavy monsoon rains paralyzed Mumbai overnight, July 2nd, 2019, leaving at least 27 people dead. Heavy rains will continue to affect the city through at least July 5th. Residents are advised to stay indoors unless absolutely necessary to leave. Record rains also hit Japan, 1.2 million under evacuation advisory. These advisories were issued July 1st, 2019 as heavy rains caused by a seasonal rain front hit the Kyushu region in southwest Japan and other areas, killing one person. A large tornado hit southern Taiwan around 7 UTC on July 1st, injuring at least two people. 15,000 people evacuate after eruptions of Ulawan and Manam volcanoes in Papua New Guinea. Ulawan, which exploded to 19.2 kilometers into the sky, that's 63,000 feet, on July 26, and Manam, which exploded at 15.2 kilometers into the atmosphere at 50,000 feet. This happened on July 28th of 2019. While there are no reports of casualties, the eruptions disrupted domestic flights, destroyed homes, plantations, and wells, leaving villagers without food and water. According to the governor, Francis Menneke, the volcanic ash has spread to Kimbi, the provincial capital, 200 kilometers, 124 miles away. Water supplies have been contaminated and crops have been destroyed, forcing villagers to evacuate the area. Please tune in to our live show tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Give us a like and a share to your favorite social media account. Thanks for tuning in to the Grand Solar Minimum channel.